Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem buildings with an ocean view. The idea here is that we're given an array of heights. So this example shows four, two, three, and one. And they tell us that there's an ocean here on the right side. I'll draw that with like a little bit of blue. And all we want to know is how many, or not just how many, but which one of these buildings have a view of the ocean. They want us to return them in increasing order, so like the indices. So uh, in this example, uh, well, we have indices 0, 1, 2, 3. How do we know if any of these buildings have a view of the ocean? Well, only buildings that don't have like an obstructed view. I think it'll make more sense if I just kind of draw them out. So let's say this is building 4. Next, we have building two next we have building three uh, with a height of three and then lastly we have building one with a height of one so now it becomes kind of clear which one of these buildings have a view of the ocean first you could just look at the first building as long as there isn't any building greater than or equal to the height of this one then it has a view so you kind of just scan through the rest of the array none of them are equal to or greater than four so this one is good what about this one? Well, straight to the right of it, we have a building with a height of three, so you can't really see the ocean. So not this one. What about three? Well, to the right, we have a building of one. That's okay because we can see over that, and yes, we can see the ocean. And lastly, the last building, it doesn't really matter what the height of that is because nothing is in front of it, so we're always gonna be able to see the ocean from there. So we see that these three buildings are the ones that can see the ocean, and we would return the indexes zero, two, and three in that order. Now, if you notice, I mean, you, you would always expect that the height of them is going to be in decreasing order. Once we filter out the buildings that can't see it, you would never expect there to be a building over here that's taller than the previous one, because then this one would never be able to see the uh, building. So we expect that the heights of the buildings that we return are going to be strictly in decreasing order. They can't be equal because then, of course, one of them wouldn't be able to see but they should be in decreasing order, and that is the case. We have four, then three, then one. One way to solve this problem is by using a stack, and it's kind of a more like niche technique. It's called the monotonic stack, and that is a very valid way to solve this problem. I won't be covering that one in this video because there's actually a easier way to do this, and I guess you could call it the greedy solution but you might have an idea of what it is. It's gonna involve going through these, not from left to right, because if we do it left to right, then for any given building like this one, we don't know if it can see the ocean unless we look at all the other buildings. And yes, you could do that with a stack, but a better way to do it would be from right to left, because we know that this one can see uh, the building, or the, sorry, the water, and then we can, in some sense, just keep track of what's the tallest building we've seen, because for any given building, we just want to know what's the tallest building to the right of it, because that's what's going to allow us to determine if this building can actually see the water or not. Let's make this a bit more clear. So let's say that this is my array over here. We're going to iterate through this in reverse order. What we're going to do is, uh, let's say this one, starting here and let's say we have our output array I'm just going to kind of initialize that like empty but we're going to actually just initialize that with the last element I think we're guaranteed that the input is going to be non-empty so we're safe to do that just take the last uh, index which is going to be the length minus one and in this case it's going to be four I believe and then we're just going to take four and initialize our array with that and then we're going to start here at the second to last building so from here on out we're going to check, can this building see the water? Well, we would ask ourselves, what's the max building to the right of it? And in this case, it's two. So four is strictly greater than two. So, okay, so this building is good. What do we do? Well, I'm going to take the index and append it here. So three is going to be added here. Now, this might seem strange to you because we're kind of doing it in reverse order, but that's okay because, yes, we are building this in reverse order, but at the end, we can take this 
and reverse it, and then it should be in the order that we want. So that's good. Now, the other thing to note is now I'm going to be over here. I'm at index two, and I could be maintaining the max building I've seen before. And in this case, we know that that's four. So what I would say is three is not greater than four. So this building cannot see the ocean. That's fine. We skip it. We do not add the index two to our list. But another thing I want to kind of tell you is we don't actually have to maintain the max height separately because we know that the last building that we added to our array should be the max that we've seen so far because sort of like how uh, the heights are going to be in strictly a decreasing order when we return them since this is in reverse these heights are going to be in strictly increasing order and if what i'm saying right now doesn't make 100 percent sense just think about it in terms of like the picture over here we know that like if this building we did end up adding it to the array we know that this is the max that we've seen so far because it has to be greater than the max that we had seen before that and it's not so that's okay that means that the last one that we added here, three, index three, is the one that has the max height, so four. Now, this one is not the one that we're gonna add, so now we're gonna move over here, we're at index one, we're gonna compare it to the element at index three, is five greater than four? Yes, it is. So now we take five, or rather the index of five, which is one, and we add it here. This is the new maximum. The last one that we add here will be the max that we have seen so far running in the reverse direction. Now, lastly, uh, we'll be here at index zero is one greater than the height at index one, which is five. It is not, so now we're done. So what we determined is that the element here and here and here, these three can see the ocean. Everything else cannot. And since we're going through this in reverse order, we're collecting the indexes in reverse order. That's not what we want to do. We want to collect the indexes in the other order. So it's as simple as taking this array and reversing it, which is going to give us one, three, four, and that's what we can return. So this way we can solve this problem in linear time and linear space, I guess, if you count the output here, but if you don't count it, it is constant space. So let's code this one up now. Okay, so mainly what we wanna do is iterate over the input in reverse. So I'm gonna say for i in range, starting at not the last index, but the second to last index, length minus two, going up until zero. So in Python, we do negative one and iterating in reverse order. So make the incrementer negative one. Before we even do that, we want to initialize our result as an array and the height that we want to add to it is the last one. So we can take the length minus one, initialize the result with that. We want to end up returning the result, but before we return it, we're going to end up uh, reversing it. So we can do that. And now all we have to do is actually fill in this loop here. And what we're gonna do is if the current height so height at index uh, one is greater than the last height. So we can just take our array. We know it's non-empty now. So we take the array, the last index that we added. In Python, you can get that with negative one. And so this is the index of that. The actual height is gonna be in the heights array. So doing this, if it's strictly greater, don't make this greater than or equal. It has to be strictly greater. Then we can take the current height, the index of the current height, and add it to the result just like that. So this is the whole code. It's easier than it looks. I just ran it and you can see it works and it's pretty efficient. If you found this helpful, check out Neatcode.io for a lot more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.